It's Saturday, September 30th, 2023. Please make sure to share, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. There's a few articles I wanna share with all of you really quick before I do. It looks like they're going to try to pass 45 days of funding uh, in order to delay the government shutdown. So this looks to me like more kicking the can down the road, not getting anything fixed, but just uh, putting off and delaying the problem. So we'll see how that plays out. But getting into uh, some of the things that are really affecting this economy right now, what's affecting the average person in America, um, yes, more kicking the can down the road and eventually you run out of road and that is what is beginning to happen here. There's an article that I was reading on The Hedge last night titled, Life in America Has Never Been More Unaffordable Than It Is Right Now. Uh, our standard of living, ladies and gentlemen, is being systematically destroyed. 99% of you watching this video today realize that. You know, for many years, Americans fully, it says, did not understand what was taking place because it was happening so slowly. There were so many people that would write me and say, JB, when are things gonna collapse? Things are never gonna collapse. What are you talking about? Uh, where's, where's the so-called collapse, JB? And I would reply to these people and say, it's happening right now, just take a look. And many people were very, very blinded because, you know, as I've said over the years, it's a death by a thousand cuts. But if you looked closely, you could see the collapse taking place. Um, three years ago, four years ago, I was filming videos of store closures, the retail apocalypse, vacant buildings. It was happening years ago. This is nothing new. And it just kept happening and happening and happening, but you could begin to see the cracks in the dam years ago, but people didn't re want to realize that. They didn't want to accept it because it really wasn't affecting them yet. Now, it's affecting a lot more people. And those same people who used to criticize me and try to call me out by saying, what collapse, JB? There's no collapse. Well, many of these people have now disappeared because they're collapsing their financial world is collapsing. Many of them have lost jobs, they're tapped out on credit cards, they've used up all their savings. These same people who used to try to call me out, they're collapsing and they've disappeared. And I hope that they survive, I hope that they make it, I hope that at some point they began to listen and take some of the advice. And, and a lot of the advice that many of you in those comments wrote. So just because it hasn't collapsed yet doesn't mean it's not in the process of collapsing. And we're watching that take place right now. Today, your purchasing power is collapsing and the cost of living has become exceedingly painful. The middle class are being decimated. The poor, they're becoming homeless. The poor, they're being pushed out onto the streets of America. There's so many people out here in the desert living in dilapidated RVs, just right off the freeway, off I-10, down side streets, uh, people sleeping in their cars in Palm Springs. There's homelessness everywhere out here. Once an area where the stars would flock to, there's a lot of money out here. There's multiple billionaires that live in very, very beautiful gated communities out here. But outside of the gates, there is a lot of pain. There's a lot of homelessness. There's a lot of problems. But the poor are being pushed out into the streets and now the middle class, they're becoming poor. Very soon, we're gonna see societal turmoil. And yesterday I was talking about and advising that if you get a chance, if you get a little bit of time, take a half an hour, take 15 minutes and go to YouTube and go pull up those old Los Angeles riots, those LA riots from the early 90s. Um, you'll see what a societal collapse looks like and how fast it can take place. And a lot of people uh, that were not paying attention to what was going on that day were driving into parts of LA, had no idea what they were driving into, and these people became uh, victims of very, very violent crimes. Many of these people lost their lives. A lot of people lost their lives during the LA riots. Many innocent people, business owners burned to the ground. Uh, so I think it's always good to go back and look at history 
And many people might have been too young to, to even realize uh, what had happened back in the early 90s uh, during the LA riots. Uh, I highly advise, uh, no matter what your age, go back and watch those videos on YouTube because it's a, a, a shocking reminder of how violent people can become and how, how people can begin to burn their own cities down, attack innocent people, uh, and, and just lose their minds and how uh, people can just go on a rampage, destroy buildings, burn buildings, uh, just take everything from their local store owners. And if you, even if you do remember, go back because it's, it's so good to refresh your memory because you're going to think, hey, if it could happen back then, it could happen now because we're in a much worse place as a society today than we were back in the early 90s. When I make these videos and I talk about these topics and we talk about a societal breakdown, we talk about what happened during the LA riots. Um, again, this is why I don't laugh. This is why I don't joke around because this is, this is you know, 15 to 20 minutes that I take out of my day that you take out of your day to listen to me. Um, you take the time to write those comments, which are incredible. But this is very, very serious business. And, you know, I, I, I'll watch other channels and people will laugh about this stuff and joke around that, you, you know, um, we're heading into a depression, a massive recession. They think it's funny. You, you know, $7 gas, isn't that funny? Uh, people can't afford food at the grocery stores or sleeping in their cars, isn't that funny? There's nothing funny about this stuff whatsoever. Anybody laughing about what is taking place right now either is extremely ignorant or they don't really believe what is happening. So again, be very, very cautious of the people you follow, who you listen to. Um, there's nothing wrong with laughing or telling a joke, but this is 15, 20 minutes uh, uh, of our day talking about some very, very serious topics that are affecting many people watching this video. It's affecting me, it's affecting you, it's affecting everybody, but it's affecting many people to a very, very uh, extreme point to where, hey, they're looking now at possibly being homeless. There, there's people watching this video right now that may be living in an RV or sleeping in a car tonight. I get it. And I understand it's gonna get much, much worse. And my heart goes out to people. We're all in this, but some people are gonna suffer a lot more than others. And you know, in this article, it talked about what a Burger King Whopper cost back in 1986. Take a guess. What did a Burger King Whopper cost back in 1986? I used to love Burger King. You know, growing up in Chicago, you drive by a Burger King and you smell that, 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 that those burgers cooking, that, that, flame broil, that flame broiler, just smoke all over the place. You drive by, you go, oh man, I have to, I got to get a Whopper. $1.54 back in 1986. Today, that same Whopper, which is a lot smaller and it does not taste the same. It is not the same burger. They just warm them up. They don't even cook them there now. $6.79 for the, for the, for, it's not even the same Whopper, but for a Whopper today, $6.79 versus $1.54, I guarantee it's probably half the size and it is not even the same quality. Gas, super unleaded, right down the street here, $7.19. I don't, I don't find anything funny about any of this. I find it really sad. I find it really heartbreaking. Uh, I think about people with kids. I think about people on fixed incomes. I think about people who may have just lost their job. Um, really, really sad. It says here, inflation adjusted home prices are now 20% above the peak of 2008. The median, the median home sells for an alarming 530% of the median annual income. The, the median house payment is now a record breaking 49% of median pre-tax income. What could possibly go wrong, ladies and gentlemen? The median home price rose from $313,000 in 2019 to $416,000 today. The article goes on to say, Los Angeles landlords are now owed $186.5 million. 50,000 eviction notices were filed by landlords in the city. 96% uh, of, uh, of them involved non-payment. Wow. 96% of these evictions involve non-payment. Homelessness 
is rising at a record pace. Average credit card rate was 16% in 2022. Now it's 22% in 2023. How many people watching this video today believe that this is sustainable? I don't. I can't even believe that this is that things are still functioning. I, it's hard to believe. The number of bankruptcy cases in August of 2023 was 18% higher than it was in August of 2022. We're looking at 30,000 auto repos a day. 60% say it's harder to get a credit card, mortgages, and other loans compared to a year ago. It's going to get even harder. My question to all of you is please comment down below. What happens when oil breaks $100 a barrel? What do you think happens? And then let me ask you this. What happens when oil breaks $150 a barrel? This is where it's going, ladies and gentlemen. And 99% of you watching this realize that. And I'm so thankful that so many of you have been preparing for years. Many of you have been preparing longer than I have, that's for sure. Many of you are a lot more prepared than I am, that is for sure. But I'm thankful to God that, that uh, I'm, I'm prepared the best that I can be at the moment. I uh, definitely would love to get out of this state. But it, it, it's... Easier said than done when you look at home prices across the country and how elevated and overvalued homes are at the moment. But I believe that is going to change. Now, that is the opposite of what Dave Ramsey says. Uh, this was on Fox Business today. Finance experts, crucial advice for Americans who want to buy homes. Uh, look, I have nothing against Dave Ramsey. Uh, I, I believe in a lot of what Dave Ramsey has to say. But lately... Uh, his housing advice is dangerous, in my opinion. He says, if you're out of debt and you have an emergency fund, prices aren't going anywhere but up. How does Dave Ramsey come to the conclusion that home prices are only going to go up? We're beginning to see home prices in some of the hottest areas, some of the hottest housing markets in the country begin to go down. We're seeing sales fall off a cliff. They're collapsing. Mortgage ap applications collapsing. Refis collapsing. Yet Dave Ramsey, God bless his soul, I have nothing against Dave Ramsey, but he is 100% wrong here. And Dave Ramsey is highly invested in real estate. And I think that he is really selling out here, in my opinion, by, by telling people that prices aren't coming down, they're going up. So you need to jump into this market just as long as you've paid off your debt and you have an emergency fund. He goes on to say, so... If, you're, if, if you get an interest rate that you don't like, which you're going to get, you can obviously finance later and get back out of it. Well, the question is, what if prices do come down? Uh, what if you have no equity in your home? What happens uh, if you're upside down? You're not going to get refinanced, Dave. Again, prices go down you become upside down. You're not going to get refied. And so I don't know uh, how you can mislead people like that and, and how you can come to the uh, conclusion that prices are only going to go up when people are losing their jobs. We're watching multiple strikes across the country now. We look at the political uncertainty of this country. Dave, look at the savings rate. 3.5%. Um, look, look at people spending 49% of their income uh, before taxes on a mortgage payment right now. You think that's sustainable? Oil prices approaching $100, $7.17 for super on Leddit, Dave. Real wages are getting crushed by inflation, Mr. Ramsey. The answer is not just pay off your debt and have an emergency fund and go buy a house. You're going to get robbed. You're going to get ripped off. This is the biggest housing bubble on planet Earth. And Dave Ramsey is telling people to just go ahead and buy. Just as long as you have your debts paid off, you have an emergency fund. You can refi later. There's no guarantee you're going to be able to refi later. And what if we go from 7.5% to 10% uh, on a 30-year mortgage? Now... I guess Dave thinks that that can't happen, that that's impossible, but they can go much higher than 10%. I think that we're going to break 
But look at history. Um, we can go much, much higher. But also we know that as mortgage rates go up, you have less qualified buyers. Typically, historically, prices come down. People go through divorces, people have to downsize. Dave, I don't think understands the Airbnb market too. The millions of homes, the shadow inventory that is tied up in Airbnbs now that people cannot rent. These short-term rentals, that this industry is in big trouble. We're going to see people running to the exits, more inventory coming. So we could go on and on about the collapsing housing market. And at the end of the day, when you're paying 40 or 49% of your income uh, to a mortgage, that's unsustainable. Uh, when inflation is beating wages, it's unsustainable. Thousands of, pump, thousands of people every day are losing jobs in this country, less and less qualified buyers uh, to, to support this housing market. The Airbnb market is on, it's on thin ice, ladies and gentlemen, let's face it, it's on thin ice. People are getting tapped out, they're running out of money. You're gonna see an emergency run to the exits uh, in the housing industry. So we'll see who's right, who's wrong. Um, I could be 100% wrong. Comment down below. Is Dave Ramsey right? Is this is this time to jump in and buy a house? Uh, or is this the time to just pull back, sit on the sidelines, stockpile some cash, uh, make sure you have the best possible credit so when these home prices do come down, you're going to get the best possible deal because you have the highest uh, FICO, store, FICO score you, you, can, you can have, and you have as much money possibly saved to put down on that house so you have a smaller payment. And then, yes, at some point, um, you might be able to refinance your house. But at the, at the end of the day, if you cannot refinance your house, at least you know that you got a good deal on your house by waiting and being patient and waiting for prices to come down. And I think prices are going to come down in many areas, especially the hottest housing markets. I think they're going to come down substantially. Yes, some areas are going to be hit worse than others. There's no doubt about that. But some of the hottest markets, some of the biggest housing markets are going to take the biggest hits. And I would rather pay less for a house and pay a, a higher interest rate or mortgage rate versus um, paying a whole lot more for a house and a lower rate. So look, if a house comes down 30, 40% and I'm paying eight or 9%, I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm going to put down as much as possible. Uh, so that, that mortgage rate won't affect me that much because I'm putting a huge down payment down. But if you're going to pay mar uh, the, these high elevated market prices right now, and you're paying the these uh, high uh, mortgage rates, you're going to get absolutely clobbered. So to me, uh, again, I would rather pay less for a house and more on the rate versus uh, a little less on the rate and a whole lot more on the house, if that makes sense. So we'll see how that plays out. Uh, Michigan State, <laughs> we're going to shift gears here now uh, with these last uh, few articles, but we were just talking about the societal collapse or a societal breakdown and this is happening and this has been happening for years and it's it, it's accelerating also with the acceleration of the economic collapse but i was reading this article michigan student hurled chair at unsuspecting teacher's head knocking her to the ground wild video this is on the new york post uh you can google this um go to the new york post so basically what happened, uh, two teenage students in this classroom got into a very heated argument. Teacher uh, tried to break it up. A student picked up a chair. I believe she was trying to hit the other student, launching this chair. She hit the teacher, knocked, hit her right in the head, uh, right in the face, knocked her to the ground. She had to go to the hospital and nobody even cared about the teacher. The two teenagers engaged in fisticuffs uh, in the classroom. This is the society you're going to be dealing with. This is the society that's coming to a town near you, ladies and gentlemen. Think about these people, uh, teenagers, gonna be adults here very, very soon. But uh, you, you know, it's the same uh, group of people uh, who are going to these stores and robbing all these stores and committing all this violence in the cities. Where are the parents and how is anything gonna get fixed? The system can't fix this. This starts at home. This starts with the family. Where are the families? Where are the parents? And unfortunately, the parents are probably just as bad as these kids. So you're gonna be dealing with these kids who are becoming adults. Then you're gonna be dealing with their parents. 
Uh, just imagine if the lights go out in this country. Imagine if the um, food stamp program got delayed. Imagine uh, if people become hungry in this country. Imagine what you're going to be dealing with. You know, again, all these videos telling everybody like, oh, we're going to buy all these houses during the collapse and I'm going to flip a house and I'm going to buy this car and I'm going to buy an RV and I'm going to buy a fast boat and go to Havasu. I'm going to get a great deal on, on, on a boat and, and I'm going to become a real estate mogul and, and I'm going to do this and, I, and, and we're going to be so rich and we're going to win and win, 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 win and we're going to make all this money. These D-bags don't understand the destruction and violence that is coming to this country. This is not, don't worry about the financial collapse. It's gonna be extremely bad. We're all gonna be affected by it. You better worry about the collapse that's coming that follows the economic collapse, and that is a societal collapse. You're gonna be dealing with some very, very hungry people, ladies and gentlemen, and let's not forget, there's a lot of people coming over here right now from all over the world who are gonna be very, very hungry too, and they may not know your local laws. So where they come from, um, you know, they might just say, hey, you know, we see something, we just take it. That's you know, how we deal with it where we come from. So you're going to be dealing with some serious things. So, so don't worry about winning. Don't worry about buying a foreclosure. Don't worry about flipping properties. You better worry about keeping you and your family safe, ladies and gentlemen. Another article here. Couple gunned down in New York City uh, were targeted uh, yesterday in uh, New York City. 6.30 p.m., man and a woman walking their dog were gunned down. All three of them lost their lives. They're all dead. Uh, the perpetrator, who they're looking for right now, apparently lived in the same um, uh, uh, building, apartment building, housing building, whatever you want to call it, uh, lived in the same building as them. And I guess he had an issue with their dog. So this loser, this low life, had an issue with their dog. So what did he do? He killed them and their dog over a dispute about their dog. This is what we're living in today, ladies and gentlemen. Somebody in your apartment building doesn't like your dog. And now uh, all three of them have lost their lives. And this loser is on the run. I've never seen so much um, mental unbalance in a society than the one we're living in right now. It's, 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 it's scary. Here's another one. Over 90,000 used needles cleaned up from New York City public spaces. Wouldn't that be a nice job? Uh, they send you out all week to clean up needles in the parks and the bathrooms and the streets. And I mean, think about <laughs> 90 thousand needles in New York City just cleaned up. And yet there are people out there that say everything's just fine. Everything's just dandy. 90,000 needles, people gunned down because of a dispute with their dog. Uh, teachers knocked out with chairs thrown in their face because a couple kids want to go fist to cuffs in a classroom. You know back in the day, if you ever, I mean, I've never even saw anything like that back in the day. People going fist to cuffs in the classroom like, you know, maybe in the, maybe in the gym, maybe out in the playground, you know, maybe out in the, the, you know, the, 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 the soccer field or something, but, um, fisticuffs in a classroom, you knew what would happen when you got home. These people have no fear, no respect for their teachers, obviously no respect for their parents because their parents probably are low lives, no respect for the community, no respect for law law enforcement, no respect for you. And so when you have people like this and they get hungry, you better be careful, ladies and gentlemen. Don't worry so much about the, all the sales that are coming. And, you know, I'm going to flip a property and I'm going to make money. I'm going I'm to buy a foreclosure. I'm going to buy a short sale. I'm going to be a real estate mogul. You better worry about how you're gonna keep yourself safe, your assets safe, how you're gonna keep your food safe, how you're gonna keep your family safe. These are the things I would be worrying about before I worried about flipping a house or buying a foreclosure during an economic collapse. This is not going to be like 1929, ladies and gentlemen. This is gonna be a lot more like Mad Max. Have a good weekend.